Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Viper for Android. Specifically how we're going to use Viper for Android to improve the audio output from our OnePlus 6. This is TK, let's check it out. The idea for this video came about from a few questions that you guys have posted to me in the last OnePlus 6 videos that I've done, asking me, is the audio quality good? Does it get loud enough on the OnePlus 6? Well, to me, the audio quality is reasonable, but if you wanted to do something to be able to improve that, we can do that with Viper for Android. Now, Viper for Android isn't new, it's been around for a while. The specific version that I'm using today is the Magix version of it. So this is a Magix module built into the Magix installer. Once you root the device, as we do need a root for this to work, even if you just had the normal Viper for Android, this won't work without root. So uh, there is another video that I'll give you guys a link in the description below on how to be able to root and get your device ready to be able to use this module. But once you have that done, you can download the version 15, even though I'm running on Magic 16. It says minimum of Magic 16, Android 5 to Android 8.0. Uh, sorry, right there, as well as Magic 15 is a minimum requirement and ARM, ARM 64, most of the chipset. Once you have that installed, check the box within the modules, restart the device, and then Viper for Android will show up in your app drawer as an application. Just turn it on and then you'll be able to reuse it. The couple of things that you want to be aware of, Magix doesn't install drivers, so you do have the ability of uninstalling them, but you need to check the status here and make sure that Neon is enabled, enabled status is normal, supported. Processing won't turn to yes unless you're playing audio, but it also gives you the sampling right that it's going to be playing. And then of course the version of uh, the Viper for Android. Under settings, there's the ability of basically checking for a new version if there is one, uh, FX compatibility mode, uh, as well as uh, lock effect mode, depending on the settings that you'd like to set up. Again, I've had I've done other videos on Viper for Android in the past. The UI has definitely been updated since the original, uh, you know, incarnation of Viper for Android. But the customization is pretty much the same. You have headset, you have phone speaker, you have Bluetooth device, and then USB and dock. So this is if you're running audio over USB-C. This is obviously for Bluetooth. This is for speaker, which is the bottom firing, single firing speaker, no stereo. And then headset, since we have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. This is where you'd be able to customize that audio performance. Now you'll notice that the headset as well as the Bluetooth device has a lot more options and you can actually go in there and read them again. This is not a full review of Viper for Android, but mostly just showing how Viper for Android can work for us. So for us, what we're going to do here is I'm going to just turn on everything, at, well, turn on the master. I am going to turn on master uh, here, the ability to, to be able to turn a uh, loud extra that will give us that nice little uh, sound boost. And we'll keep it off for now just to kind of set up a baseline. Here we are on YouTube. We're going to be playing a song called Alan Walker Fade. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it in here. The volume on this right now is running at 100%. So when you notice here, my, on my media volume is all the way at 100. And this is what the OnePlus 6 does naturally. Now you can notice the difference in uh, audio performance, or at least at the loudness level. Uh, and it's not a sharp jump. You notice it's a gradual jump. So it's almost like a faded up and faded down. But you definitely can hear it. And I hope you guys could hear it definitely um, on the speaker here in the audio in the studio. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to headset. And I'm going to play the same song, but we're going to use it in headset and see how much it performs as I'm able to bring that closer to you guys. Audio performance and quality definitely is improved by using Viper for Android. Now this is going to be true to any other device you're able to get Magix installed because this is really not unique to the OnePlus 6. I am demoing it today just to kind of answer the mail by saying, look, you can improve the audio quality output out of the OnePlus 6 if you have root. And to be able to do that, by the way, if you need to know how to unlock, install Torp and root your device using Magix, there's a video going live about the same time as this one. I'll give you guys a link to that in the description below. But the short answer is, 
any device that you can get Viper for Android installed and running on will always benefit from having that in there. It has built-in EQ customizations down to a very minute level. You can just really set it up the way you want it and you have a master switch on and off. So if you don't even want any of the options, you can turn it off. And if you do, turn them back on and customize the levels that you want to increase. Um, overall, really good. Works over headset, Bluetooth, uh, speaker definitely will get an improvement. Nothing I can do right now as far as getting into a dual speaker setup, although I'm hoping to see a module do that in the near future. Uh, other than that, I think, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are your main concerns with the OnePlus 6? And I'll try to make some videos addressing some of those issues as, you know, this is one of the reasons OnePlus is really popular. It's easy to unlock, easy to mod, and easy to customize and do whatever you want to these devices. So like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.